Hi there everyone. Welcome to another campsite tour in 2021. We're still in the Lake District, but this time we are at Orodale Caravan and Motorhome Club site. You'll see from the uh, sign that it's a site for caravans and motorhomes only, and there's no toilets or shower block. But like all these sites with limited facilities, they seem to make up for it in location. Let me just show you around the view from the entrance of the site. Typical rugged Lake District scenery and those wonderful hills up there. Right, let's show you around the site, see what you think. Um, drive through here, I'm walking through the gate, obviously. I'll show you a little bit of the site before I show you the layout. Come down here, on the left is where you pull up as a new arrival. And then here on the right is the office, which is usually closed until the evening when you arrive. So what the arrangement is, those envelopes on the door there, you collect all your details, drop your membership card in through the letterbox, so they've got that, and then you find your pitch and then come back to confirm your pitch and pay uh, when the office is open, which usually is around about five till six in the evenings. It's got a smaller shop um, with quite a few provisions, so it's quite useful given that uh, the main shop's a little bit further away. Just to I'd show you the wildlife you get on this site. There's the male pheasant. There's a female around as well. Also, they do say you can see red squirrels. And I'll just show you up here, these boxes on the trees are there to attract them, but we haven't seen any yet, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. We hopefully will before we go. So we'll come down here and then I'll quickly show you the layout. I've got a site map, which I'll show you. So here we go, Borrowdale Club site. It's got a total of 50 pitches. Um, it's got basically standard with awning, the white pegs, or standard without awning, the blue pegs. And it has normal sort of waste, water, and a motorhome point. Here's a reception, which I showed you. And what I plan to do, I'll take you up to this back section of the site. This is the area which is near the lake. There's a footpath across the lake. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but also then you've got this lower part, which is where we are. We're on uh, pitch number 11. But this is the sum total of the site, but it's in a lovely wooded location. Uh, lots of wildlife. So let me show you around. Uh, the weather since we've been here has been very unpredictable and very unseasonable for, seasonable for May. So this is one of the few times it isn't raining. So uh, well, hopefully we'll get this complete before the rain sets in again. This always looks like a good pitch if you just look at that view through there. Pretty impressive. So we'll walk up. And we'll follow it up as I said to the back part of the site. I think it was said on the sign it was full. I'm not surprised because it is such a lovely location. So we're just coming up this hill and you'll see on the left the normal setup for waste etc. This will have bins, water there. You'll also see they're all called interesting names. That's the avenue which we'll go down later. Follow up through here. I think I said earlier we're not far from Keswick. 
it is just outside and down quite a narrow lane so uh, possibly a bit tight for caravans but it can be done it's an, a road with passing places really going through a little uh, hamlet so it just needs to uh, keep your wits about you as you come through and then you drop down through the entrance I showed you so as we come over the top here we'll now be in uh, what it says lakeside gardens and you'll see these pictures they all look to be hard standing pictures so I did say it was very wooded look, look at this through into the woods and then further down we get to the rest of the uh, pitches which are all nicely tucked away in amongst trees as I've walked round tend to find a lot of the blue pitches there's a standard pitches without awning actually do have some very nice spots right, there's quite a few in this section primarily I think because in there is the lake although you haven't actually got a direct view it's very close see some pictures down there and a little semicircle and some more up here. And I think down there is one of the walks to the lake. Let's take a little look and just see what uh, I can see. All right, just getting a bit closer now to the end of that short path. And there you'll be able to see the lake. Now there is a walk all around the lake. We stopped off on part of it so I've got some of that to show you but that is a uh, superb view albeit with very dark rain clouds coming over the top but uh, lovely and peaceful right we'll come back come back now into the uh, main site I'll show you the rest we're working our way now from Lakeside Gardens to Squirrel's Leap. See if you can find that. Right, we're just coming up now past the sign for Squirrel's Leap. And this is the section right at the end of the site. Still on the lake side. And down here is the woodland walk. Which is marked right in the corner. There we go. Nice little pictures all again under the trees through there. I'll come back down now and show you the lower section next. Right, as I said, we're now at the uh, lower part of the uh, site. Just walking through now to the uh, pitch area, which uh, was where we are. I'll just show you here the sort of size of pitch you could get. That's a massive. Uh, plenty of space for a large unit cars, awnings, etc. And generally they are quite generous spaces for all the pitches. Certainly ones with uh, awning and white pegs. Coming up here now, we're passing normal setup for waste, water and chemical emptying point. We'll just make our way down this section to the right before we go down to where we're pitched. So it's 
takes us up to a uh, number of pitches up here, tucked away. I keep saying that, but they really are there, well in the trees, nicely private, good spaces between them. And the other thing you'll notice is the peace and quiet. There is a road that runs up the back, but it's fairly rarely used. So everywhere is nicely quiet. So there's the pitches there. And then I'll come back down to uh, where we are, which is called Cat Bells. And just show you that part. So I drop down here into Cat Bells. Another few pitches here. You get a uh, view up to that huge hill I showed you at to the entrance. And the other thing I was going to just show you this here is a little pathway which cuts across the site and that's a shortcut over to reception. So although the roads meander around, you can actually get across the site quite happily. And we're back down now to where we're pitched. You can see the van there. go with a lovely view out up that hill. So that's a quick trip around the Borrowdale Caravan and Motorhome Club site. As I said no facilities, great location. Uh, we've spent today driving up the Honister Pass up to Buttermere and some really spectacular views so I'll get to show you those. Um, lovely location as I said, plenty of being amongst nature, very relaxing side to be in. So I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.